Okay, now y'all. Um, this video is going to be like raw footage. I don't have time to edit because I leave at 6 o'clock in the morning and the current time is 8.20. I don't know if you guys see that. So I'm just going to show you guys and be packing. Um, stay tuned. So, I will be talking about hair on the camera. The first thing I have is this. It is a, a backboard. I'll be bringing one of those. I also have my female urinal. So, it's the top to this. And I just pee into this. And they empty it out. thing I have is a uh, abort everything that I've purchased has been either mostly from Amazon and I'll take that out everything that I have you need is an abort you put it on the front of your stomach after surgery the next thing that I have is my lipo foam and the sizes for my lipo foam were 8 by 11. Yeah, 8 by 11. All three of these. Actually, let me zoom out a little bit for you. Okay. Next thing I have is my Dow soap. This is to keep my hands clean for after I have my surgery. My body soap. This is antibacterial body soap. You need to use this to wash up with before you have your surgery to make sure that you're properly clean. I have my Arnica tea. This is what you need to drink to flush out all the lipo fluid. Now, I have bought extra big underwear. Now, normally I would wear a size 5 in these underwear, but I brought a size 10 because I know that I'm going to be swole and you want to bring extra underwear. So I have more, but this is just another pack of 6 that I bought. So I'll be bringing probably like 15 or 20 pair. You could never have too much underwear. I have ice packs. I purchased these from Target. These were three dollars a box because you know it would help with the swelling and the pain or whatever that I may feel after like well I got two of those. Um I have some fresh wipes on the go to use for the airplay so I can clean my hands and see if it's focused. So I can clean my hands on the airplane and I have basic cotton thingies. This is to clean my wounds if I need to and to clean my face the three days that they said we won't be able to get out of bed to wash up. I want to make sure I have a clean face. So I'll be bringing witch hazel um, and alcohol. And like these little containers, I can't find them. But I'll be bringing this brand of witch hazel inside like these little containers. Um, here we go. These little containers right here. I'll be bringing, put alcohol in one and witch hazel in the other. Keep that for me. Um, my medicine that I have taken so far. My vitamins. I'll be bringing these. So my iron pills. I'll be complex with vitamin C. 
my floss at flop folic acid <laughs> can't talk today folic acid my I have two things of ibuprofen I feel like this is not strong enough so let me focus it focus it doesn't want to focus Um, it doesn't want to focus. So yeah, that's ibuprofen and I have a prescription that my doctor gave me. It's almost out, but I know for a fact that that's going to work. Now, I am sick, so I'm bringing some hauls for my throat. And plus, I've heard of some girls like getting sick after surgery anyway, so I brought two packs of those. I have two packs of latex gloves for when the doctors, the nurses, you know, like, I want to make sure they change their gloves, you know. So, I brought two packs of those, and it's ten pairs in each pack. I also brought collagen. This is supposed to help with skin tightening. You take one scoop a day inside of your orange juice or water, and it's supposed to tighten your skin after you have surgery because, you know, after liposuction, people do tend to have loose skin. I brought some pack of baby wipes. A lot of people told me that you don't really need baby wipes, but I decided to bring them anyways because the first three days, you won't be able to take a bath. So what can you do? I have my I have my BBL pillow. Honestly, this is very firm, but I feel like only buy this this type of BBL pillow because for one, it was $115. Shipping was $15 and the pillow was a hundred itself. This is not thick enough. This is not like if you go into surgery and you want to have like like this barely fits the butt that I have now. So yeah. That's what I got. My compression socks. I'm still gonna buy another pair out there because boo-boo. What I'm gonna do? What the same pair of socks all day? Can't do but no 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 no. Brought some Nike slides. Beep, beep, beep. This one I'm wearing the airplane. Um, brought my glasses because but I can't see. I need those. I need those. Um, brought my camera charger because I am gonna try to vlog for y'all. Try to vlog my experience while I'm out there. Ooh, I hope and pray don't nobody steal my shit. Um, also, I brought some dresses now, but I don't feel like taking all this out. Okay, boo-boo. Okay. I have, now, a lot of people keep telling me, like, oh, you don't need that many dresses. So, um, people are telling me to only bring two dresses. I feel like that's dirty. I will be staying out there for six, I mean, for ten days, and I don't feel that's sanitary but i have one dress two dress three dress four dress five dress and another six dress and i have a robe so i have that and this is a suitcase that i have bought it's about thirty dollars i have this full of pads and show you guys everything i have in here i have more wipes feminine wipes for you know down there and you can't take a bath I brought this now I doubt if I'm gonna be able to use this but hey why not use it what if somebody stink up the bathroom or something you know I have something to spray I brought some Neosporin uh, some more extra pads that I have put in there because I bought this band-aid tape to take my pads to me because that's what they said we're going to use to stop bleeding. But that's what I have in here. Okay. That's all for that. And then here, it's literally full with freaking pads. Now, this has 48 pads. And I have two of those. So, yeah. 
I have my toothbrush, my toothpaste. This is what y'all was just looking at. My toothbrush, toothpaste. I'll make sure I set this up good for y'all. So. So y'all can see everything, boo boo. Um, I also have some sunglasses because you know, boo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to be sha popping. You feel me? So you know, have those on. And I want to sell my deodorant. You know the basics. I have my deodorant. I don't like this cheap shit, but my mama bought it, so whatever. Um, what else? What else? What else? I believe that's all. I'm bringing a bonnet, and I'm bringing a scarf, and I'm not bringing any makeup. Um, I feel like that's all. That's all that I will be bringing. Hopefully, I'm not leave anything anything and this is literally like the last freaking video like oh and i would suggest you guys to bring um this is the alcohol that i'll be putting into my bottles i would suggest that you guys bring a portable charger because i have one of those and what else what else what else portable charger Make sure you download some music on your phone to have on the airplane. Bring a spare charger just in case. Do and another tip is take a picture of your passport. Don't leave this at home. Um, what else? I'm just bringing the papers from my passport. You know, just so they could be like, oh, is that passport fake? I have all my blood work that I had did. All of this is right here, so I'm bringing that just in case they be like, uh uh, this ain't right. I'm be like, no, no, that is right, that is okay, okay, because my doctor in America, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, guys, um, make sure you add me on Snapchat, which is Angel Persuasion. Um, I'll try to get back to as many questions. I'm not gonna be like those other girls that you know take like three months to upload a damn update i won't be doing that but make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe and this is literally everything that i will be bringing take your screenshots i'm not bringing my laptop um so yeah this is everything okay bye guys um Make sure you bring a purse. I'm trying to, I really hope I didn't, I'm not forgetting to mention anything in this video because I have a list. Honestly, I feel like you guys should make a list. So I'll show you guys my list. Um, so I have a list that I made here. So these are all the things that. I'm going to make sure that I check off to make sure that I have everything. So as I'm repacking all this stuff, I'll make sure I have all this credit cards, umbrella, um, my other list that I had made a list in case that uh, I was to lose my phone and it has like my mom's number my grandmother's number and my best friend's number just in case something was to happen to me and it also has my blood type i'm gonna be positive and i'll put that on there can you get out my stuff this cat is crazy get away anyway so i made sure i put my blood type on there just so they could know if they need to contact someone and i also put if this phone is lost please return it to Sipla hospital or family will think i'm dead so yeah bye y'all